Welcome to part two of the No Bounding Box tip. Um, I'm going to zoom in to show you. This is the bounding box with the dots and the <coughs> little uh, squares that allow us to resize and turn layers. It shows us which layer is our active layer. But when we sit back to look at our layout, sometimes that bounding box is kind of in the way of our view kind of obstructs uh, the feeling of the entire layout and we can easily get rid of that by just clicking out here on the desktop. However, there are always more than one way to do things. If you look up here at the top bar with the move tool selected, you'll see a box that uh, says show bounding box. If I uncheck that, it also takes away the bounding box but it takes it away permanently and so if you happen to go to another tool <coughs> and um, then come back to the move tool and and you've forgotten that you've turned that setting off you might be wondering where in the world is my bounding box I can't find it I can't turn my pictures and so that's why I tend to not use that show bounding box um, in this way, if I click off the bounding box to have no layer as the active layer and I go to another tool and then I come back to the move tool and it's still working. And so I just wanted to point out to you that you can turn it off permanently and I hope this has been another helpful tip for you. And yay, I don't think I coughed, I only grunted through this. <coughs> Man, I couldn't make it.